Hello. How are you today? Great. Come on through. Can I just take your name just to clarify that I have the right appointment here? Okay, perfect. Just get you checked in. From my record, you are here today for a skin assessment, an extraction treatment, followed by a skincare facial treatment. Is that correct? Perfect. Okay. So before we get on with the treatment itself, could you just clarify a few details for me, please? Thank you. So, can I take an email address? And a contact number. Okay, now we have got your medical records here. Um, have you had any updates in medication or um, have you had any operations recently? Any allergies that we should know about? No? Great. Okay. So, now that we have all of the core details down here, um, let me just quickly explain to you today's session. So like I said, we're going to start off with a skin assessment um, and I'm just going to have a little closer look at your skin um, just to determine your skin type um, so that then I can proceed with choosing the appropriate um, products today. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do the extraction process, okay? Now this is nothing to worry about, it's not painful in the slightest, um, we're just going to be removing any blackheads or blemishes from the surface of your skin. And then we'll finish off with a skincare facial routine, okay? And this is probably the most relaxing part. Um, we'll apply some really wonderful products to your skin, um, and finish off with a face massage for you. Okay, now do you have any questions at all? No? Okay, fantastic. Anyway, it is lovely to meet you by the way. My name is Dr Lottie and I will be your dermatologist today. Okay, it's wonderful to have you here um, and I'm very much looking forward to our session. Now, let me just pop on my gloves. Obviously, when I'm coming up close to your face, I don't want to be um, passing on any germs at all. Now, have you had this treatment before? You have. definitely um, a good idea to visit your dermatologist. Um, a lot of people overlook this treatment but I think taking care of your skin is a really important step to living a healthy lifestyle. Okay, let's pop these on quickly. So I have a few questions here to ask you first. Um, just to determine your health habits um, and see if there are any areas in which we can improve, okay? So, how much water would you say you consume per day? Okay. Wonderful, let me just take note of that. And how would you describe your diet? Um, do you have a balanced diet, eating um, good foods um, and making sure that you get your five a day? Okay, so perhaps we have an area of improvement there, but that's all right. Um, very easily done, nothing to worry about. Now. Are you currently a smoker or have you ever been a smoker? Okay. No problem. We'll be 
obviously um, smoking can age the skin um, so we would discourage you from smoking um, so just bear that in mind okay and how would you describe your physical health do you exercise regularly um, do you partake in any sports in your spare time okay wonderful obviously getting enough exercise is crucial for your health um, but it's important that we discuss this because obviously um, the more you exercise the more you sweat um, and then there's a higher chance that that sweat is going to cause um, blemishes and blackheads okay so we will discuss that further in a bit now do you have a um, regular skincare routine at the moment okay so you do but there's not much consistency there all right, no problem. At the end of the day, it is all down to personal preference, isn't it? Um, and from a distance, I can see that you actually have very radiant and lovely skin. So um, I wouldn't worry about that too much at all. Okay. Um, and do you use sunbeds at all? Um, do you get a lot of exposure to sunlight? Okay, so you do go abroad quite often then and you enjoy sunbathing. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, obviously you'll know that um, with sunbathing um, it does age your skin and obviously your chances of skin cancer are increased. Um, but as long as you um, are tanning responsibly and using SPF when necessary um, of course there's nothing to worry about there just keep it to a minimum and bear in mind that um, overexposure in the sun is not good for your skin or your health okay now do you wear makeup a lot or would you say that you're not really a makeup wearer okay Fine. Um, and obviously just to remind you there that um, when you do wear makeup it's really important that you remove it um, thoroughly before you go to sleep um, otherwise it just clogs up your pores and it does unfortunately make your skin more um, prone to blackheads and um, breaking out so um, it is important to remove it before going to sleep but again that's absolutely fine I've got no concerns there all right so now that I have answered all of those questions I am just going to come up a little bit closer and have a further look at your skin okay so if you just relax there for me um, I'm just going to have a little feel and closer inspection. Okay. Okay, just relax for me.
can relax for a second. So, um, from just having a look there, I can see that you do have a combination skin type, okay? Um, which is perfectly normal. Um, you have areas of oiliness, um, particularly around your T-zone, so uh, your forehead, down your nose, and the sides of your nose. Um, but then you do have some areas of dryness, uh, particularly around um, your cheeks at the side here. Um, but it's absolutely fine. Um, there are no red flags, or nothing that is concerning me in the slightest, so um, it is looking healthy. Now, do you ever suffer from eczema or sensitive skin? Um, any sort of rashes on the skin? Okay, no, that's fine. Just take note of that. Alright. And in terms of the extraction, um, there are some areas that I will be focusing on. Um, in particular, your nose. You have quite a few blackheads on your nose, which again is completely normal. Um, and you have a few blemishes on your forehead, um, so I'll be able to extract those as well for you. Okay. Um, and again, it's really, really great that you've come in for me to do this. Um, I know that it's tempting to uh, extract them at home, but if you're not careful, you can just worsen your skin by um, squeezing spots or um, touching your face too much yourself. It just spreads bacteria and makes things worse. So um, coming here will actually be able to safely extract um, any blemishes from your skin and uh, make your skin condition just a little bit more healthy. Okay? Great. Now, in terms of things that you can do to improve the health of your skin, um, I would recommend drinking more water. I know it's very cliche, but drinking water is very, very good for your skin. Um, so try and drink at least two litres of water per day. Um, I would also recommend having more vegetables, so especially green vegetables um, that contain lots of vital vitamins um, and iron, really, really good for the skin. Um, I'd also recommend perhaps um, taking a vitamin supplement, like you said, um, you don't have the most balanced diet, which is fine, and if you are going to struggle getting your vitamins through your food, um, then I would recommend taking um, a vitamin A, vitamin C, and a vitamin E vitamin supplement. And this is just going to um, give you an added boost of those vital vitamins that really do help with your skin. Okay? But again, you don't even have to get vitamin supplement, I just recommend eating a more balanced diet. Okay, no problem. So, now that we have completed the skin assessment, um, let's move on to the extraction process. Okay, so before we start the extraction process, I'm just going to very gently apply a steamed towel to your face and all this is going to do is it's going to open your pores ever so slightly um, and that's just going to make the extraction process a little bit easier for me, okay? Obviously I don't want to be, um, you know, irritating your skin too much um, so by applying a nice hot steamed towel to your face um, I'll be able to make the process as gentle um, as possible. Okay, so I just have this steamed towel here. I'm just going to come up and very gently wipe this all over your face. Okay, so just relax for
forehead. sides of your face and your cheeks your nose and finally your chin perfect this towel to one side and already I can see that your face um, is more prepared for the extraction process. Those pores have really opened um, which like I said is going to make the process a lot easier so in order to carry out the process I have here my extraction kit and obviously this is completely sterilised um, and it just contains a number of different tools which are going to be used for the extraction so let me just choose the appropriate tools now obviously some won't be needed today um, as your skin, like I said, is looking fairly healthy, um, so I won't need to um, be using the more complex tools. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'll only be using two today. I'm going to be using this one here for the blackhead extraction and this is because the blackheads on your nose are slightly um, smaller and harder to get out than your blemishes and then I'll be using this tool here for your blemishes just because they're slightly larger and therefore easier to extract um, so we won't need as precise um, at all now I think we are going to start off with your blackhead extraction and I'm going to be doing this in the areas that need it the most so I'm going to be focusing on your nose and your cheeks and there are a few on your forehead as well okay now like I said um, this is completely pain free um, so just relax okay you're just going to feel little bits of pressure around your face but nothing that's going to make you feel uncomfortable or in pain okay so just relax for me and I'm just going to start by applying then with every extraction I'm just going to clean the tool onto the towel that we used earlier that's it you're doing fantastically your face has responded really well to that hot towel just because these 
blemishes are so easy to remove. One more now on your nose, and then we'll move down to the sides of your cheeks. Okay, so you have a few round here on your left cheek. So I'll just start over there. not in pain at all, are you? No? Okay, great. If at any point you feel uncomfortable, then please do let me know. Okay. Great. One more on your left cheek and then we can move over to the right. Doing really, really well. Just one more now. Great. So now that we have finished your uh, nose sides of your cheeks. Just have a few blackheads across your forehead to extract. Okay? So I'll just do this one here. Unfortunately, um, these blackheads aren't very large at all, um, so they're fairly young, which is good. Okay, and you just have a few up here in your hairline, so I'm just going to remove those. Nearly done with the blackhead extraction now. And one more in your hairline. Perfect. Great, so all of your blackheads that um, I wanted to extract have now been extracted. Obviously, I haven't removed every single blackhead in your skin. Um, I've just removed the ones um, that I think were of the most priority. Um, obviously, I didn't want to remove any that were um, too new and too deep into the skin. I didn't want to cause um, any more irritation than was necessary. Okay? So, now we're just going to move on to the extraction 
of your blemishes and when I say blemishes I mean the red spots that you will um, have appear on your skin. These tend to be slightly more tender and painful um, but also a lot easier to remove. Okay, now I can see that you only have You only have four that I'm wanting to remove today, okay? Again, some of them aren't ripe enough, if you like, so I'm just going to extract four of those. And like I said, I'm just going to be using this slightly larger tool. So I'll just remove this first one here. There we go. And let's have a look. I'll do this one next. Just hold nice and still for me. Okay. We're doing great. We're nearly done. Then we can move on to the relaxing facial treatment. Third one here. Okay. Now one last one, and then we can just relax. Perfect. So the extraction process is now complete. Um, and like I said, I've removed all of the um, sort of high priority uh, blemishes on your skin. Um, so now we can move on to the most enjoyable part of today's session. Okay, so now you can just truly relax and enjoy. So the first part of any skincare routine should be a cleanser. Today we are going to be using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and this is perfect for all skin types and the Garnier Micellar technology is formulated in an all-in-one cleanser suitable even for sensitive skin so it captures impurities like a magnet and lifts away dirt from the skin the gentle yet effective formula without perfume cleanses without leaving the skin feeling dry okay and this product is definitely a firm favorite with our clients um, it's perfect as a cleanser but also um, if you're interested removes makeup really well so it's like a two-in-one product and as you can see we are actually running low on this product just because we use it so regularly here in the clinic. So, I'll just pop it open. And I'm just going to use a cotton pad to sweep the product across your skin. Just start off on the side. Reach the side of your nose as well. And the other side. And then finally, just down the bridge of your nose. Perfect. Okay, so. 
So the next important part of a skincare routine is a toner. And by looking at your skin type and your skin condition, the product I've chosen today is this rose water toner. Okay, and this is a hydrating and balancing toner. And rose water is a great ingredient for skincare as it balances the pH of your skin and has anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, so all natural ingredients and has really beneficial qualities to the product. So I'll just be applying a bit of this onto a cotton pad. This product's wonderful because it smells just like roses. I'm just going to, again, apply this across the face in circular motions. So just around the side of your face first, down on your chin. Now while we let that settle into your skin, the third and final step to your skincare routine should be a moisturiser. And I'll just show you the one that we are going to be using today. And this is actually an intensive care anti-aging cream. And although you have no signs of ageing on your skin yet, um, a great way of um, preventing any wrinkles um, or sort of premature skin aging is to use an anti-aging cream. So I'm just going to be applying this one all across your face and at the same time just gently massaging it into your skin. Okay. Now for this part I'm just going to remove my gloves. Quickly apply some hand sanitizer. means that the massage is going to be more pleasurable and relaxing when I'm using my actual hands to apply the product. So I'm just grabbing a small amount and I'm now going to massage this
So that concludes today's treatment. Um, how are you feeling? Great. Well, your skin does look a lot better. Um, and I'm sure that that skincare routine that we just carried out on you is going to be really beneficial um, for your skin. Okay. You're very welcome. Um, I look forward to welcoming you back here anytime. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. See you soon.